Browns holding their second OTA practice today, their first practice open to us. And of course, the big story, Mary Kay, uh, as we talked about on the podcast uh, on Wednesday, Deshaun Watson not throwing. He did make a couple tosses here and there. He cheated a little bit, but for the most part, he was just doing mental reps, would go through a rep and kind of mimic a throw, things like that. So as expected, no throwing from Deshaun Watson. Yeah, no throwing from Deshaun Watson, but as expected, he was so involved. He took every single mental rep. When they got out there and did the team sort of walk through, he was up first in first team reps, and he is as involved as he can possibly be without throwing on those off days. And he's kind of going every other day right now. And we did have a chance to ask Kevin Stefanski about him after practice, and he said, I've seen him. He looks like himself. And I think that's the key. When we have seen the ball come out in a few clips that we saw from yesterday, it looks like it's coming out really well. He's into it. He's upbeat. He's excited. And so is everybody else. Yeah, Ashley, we did kind of see the energy from the shots. It's starting to rain on us here out in the rain. Yeah, I think so 100%, but this is what we expected. This is just kind of what Deshaun Watson does. He likes to be very vocal working with his backup quarterbacks and with those receivers. So 100% not surprised we saw him doing his footwork drills, which he does after practices normally, even when he's 100% healthy and doing some ladder drills with the ball and things like that. Okay, so Mary Kay, there were some guys who weren't here, but let's talk about one of the guys who was here, Jerry Judy, and he was someone that uh, I know we wanted to get eyeballs on. We got to see him catch some footballs, run some routes. Um, I don't know if I would say as advertised, but he looked good out there uh, with, with at least Jameis Winston throwing him the football. Yeah, we were not sure if we were going to see Jerry Judy here today, so it was a little bit of a pleasant surprise. And he did catch some nice passes from Jameis Winston, who we, by the way, just got a chance to talk to a few minutes ago. Uh, very gregarious and endearing and a uh, cool guy to talk to, like he would be. Uh, but yeah, so it was nice to see Jerry out there running around. He looked fast. He looks like he's the good separator that we know. And uh, he's going to make a big impact on this offense. Yeah, Ashley, he does look like a pretty smooth route runner. That was one thing. I mean, it's so hard to, to tell sometimes. Like, if there was a play where he made a catch, probably would have gotten lit up. So you never know. But, you know, the footwork, the route running, things like that, it all looks kind of like what you expect. Yeah, I do think that's the balance there. We were talking about this off the side. There's some OTA plays we can remember from years past where, in hindsight, probably not so amazing because the defense can't touch these receivers either. But I did think that part of it was noticeable. I know in seven on seven, he made a nice catch on the left sideline from James Winston. So he did get a chance to get a peek at that connection today. And I'm excited as things ramp up here to see his route running. Darius Smith was here too. He did something I probably need to do. He got his hair cut. Um, he said Mary Kay that he's, he's just older. He's kind of a more mature than Darius. He seems like he's in a good place right now. Uh, at least when we got to talk to him. He really does. He is fired up to be here. He said he could have gone to Miami. He could have gone to Washington. He could have gone anywhere. But he came back here because of the culture, because of the vibe, because of the opportunity to try to get into So good for him. His only complaint, Ashley, was Jacques Césaire, the new defensive line coach, needs to get more snacks in the defensive line. Again, he seems like he's in a pretty good spot. Well, Zavarius, yeah, has the same complaints I think we have about our over here someday. So I understand, I can empathize with Z, but yeah, I think again, we've gotten to see Jacques Césaire work with these guys. One more thing, no Miles Garrett, no Joel Petonio today. Uh, but again, these are voluntary. I'm sure that we'll see Miles at some point, Mary Kay. We might not see Joel until the mandatory minicamp in a couple weeks. Uh, but pretty good attendance otherwise. Yeah, really, really good attendance. There were, obviously, as you mentioned, some guys that you would have liked to have seen here. So you can see what they look like coming off the offseason. Elijah Moore, Amari Cooper, Miles, and some of those guys. But there's plenty of time for that. But one thing to remember is these are And then again, that's the, I mean, like, we don't have to worry about Miles Garrett. He's, when he shows up, he's going to look like he was chiseled out. So. Yeah, and one note there, we did talk to Wyatt Teller today, and he got asked about Joel. Like, a lot of times these guys, Joel's the example, because he's still hanging around. He's just not out there practicing. And Wyatt's an investment. When you're a veteran, you get smarter about when you need to put those reps on your body, how much football you've already played. And those are the kind of guys, especially, that 
you're not really bothered when they're not at something voluntary at all because they can step onto the field in June for mandatory mini camp and be totally fine. All right, we've, we've pressed our luck enough here because the storm has not hit. You hear all the noise behind us here, so we are definitely back in Berea. Full coverage of today at OTAs and more at cleveland.com slash browns.